Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. We're excited to have back Kristen McIntosh from the Art League of Hilton Head as she introduces Samantha Clare and her upcoming exhibit, Glimpses of Gala, opening July 3rd at the Art League Gallery. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Kristen, the Art League of Hilton had such a valuable part of uh, the the community. Tell us a little bit about how it enhances lives. Okay. Um, well, first off, we have our gallery where you can come in and see local art by 170 local artists, and that changes every four weeks. But around that four-week show, we have a featured artist. So this month, it is Samantha Clare. Um, we also have an academy on the south end where you can take classes in all skill level, all media. Um, we provide studio space for free for our artists to come in and use our facility and we have a book club, the largest art library on the island. Um, we offer a lot and we also partner with a lot of other community organizations. organizations. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people aren't, you know, very familiar with your organization mm -hmm. and it's good for them to become familiar yes. with. <laughs> so um, you have another exciting exhibit coming mm -hmm. to the uh, gallery. Tell us a little bit about it this so month. We have Samantha's exhibit, um, Glimpses of Gola. That is the 3rd through the 28th and we have an opening reception next week. Wednesday, July 11th, so you'll see Samantha's artwork and work from 170 artists again. Yeah, and so Samantha, your art has a specific inspiration. What about the Gullah people inspires you? Um, mostly their survival, mm -hmm. because they have, they, have, they have survived all of the things that we have set up to be a stumbling block to, be, to having a good life, and, and I'm saying white people in that sense. Um, and their perseverance, because they have persevered through some horrible, horrible times and, and still are in many ways. And they, they just keep going because they have grace and they have faith. And their faith is this, this binding agent. Mm -hmm. And even though I'm not a particularly religious person, it, it binds me in too, just in, in awe of the strength of it. Yeah, the strength of their culture. Mm -hmm. And so, do you feel that your work helps preserve the culture? I do, because it shines a light on something that a lot of people don't know anything about. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, it's, it's the light that I've been shown, the light that I see. But in sharing that, it ignites curiosity and it expands the dialogue, which is very important because when people buy a piece of art, when somebody sees it at home, then they have to explain what the basis is. And they've yeah. become involved at that point and learn more too. Yeah. And so I consider my art to be just one of the ripples that's leading toward a bigger shore. Yeah, very nice. Um, explain your art a little bit, especially on the, um, you know, on the wood slates. It's, it's terrific. Oh, thank you so much. It is on recycled wood that's left over from Hurricane Matthew and it was an entire fence that came down and a lot of it was broken up, but what was salvaged became the fence people. That's cool. And I call it glimpses of Gullah because I get glimpses and I paint glimpses rather mm -hmm. than huge crowds of people or things like that that I'm not familiar with. Right. I see individuals and my art is, I call it painting the stories. Okay. And the goal is walk into this story and find what it's trying to tell you yourself. What the meaning is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. And so uh, you have a couple other pieces here. These are uh, watercolors, am I? No, no, all of my work is done in acrylic. All acrylic, okay, mm -hmm. okay. And these are prints. I have oh, a lot okay. of prints with me this time, so people who can't afford, and I will stress that my art is very affordable. Okay. And I purposely keep it that way. But I also have a full set of line of prints of art that I have with me and art that has been done for years. So, very nice. And a lot so of choices. People will be able to purchase on site. Is that correct? correct? Yes. And that's not just Samantha's artwork. That's all the artwork. Am correct. I right, Kristen? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, um, if people come out to the Art League to see these beautiful pieces, how they how can they give back to the community? They can give back um, specifically to Art League and how we enhance the community by becoming a member. It's just $55 a year and that goes to support us being able to have these 12 exhibits a year and right. bring in our um, instructors, nationally known ones, at our academy. And if people are interested in the academy itself and what it offers, <laughs> they just have to go online? Exactly. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Beautiful art. 
Thank Look you. forward to July 11th, and thank you both for joining us thank today. Thank you. We appreciate it. Absolutely. And we will be right back with Talk of the Town.